Hello, my name's Grant Hearn, and I'm going to talk for a little while on, on courseworks, and in particular, what's expected of a coursework. I think you can probably divide coursework into at least two, and maybe we'll refine it later. But there are those courseworks which essentially um, demonstrate that a method shown in the lecture you can transfer to either a similar or slightly diff different problem. And then there are those courseworks which actually require you to come up with the solution on your own. In other words, they expect you to think your way through the problem rather than simply apply some ad hoc method which has been explained to you in the lecture course. In writing down the coursework, it's assumed that whilst the lecturer may be paid to read it, he still would like to feel that what he's reading is informative. And so I, I personally prefer to read it as if you are the expert and I am an inexperienced person who wishes to know how to tackle the coursework which you've been asked to undertake. So it's a, it's a question of communication in which you demonstrate quite clearly that you not only understand the underpinning principles, but you can actually explain those principles and even in some cases justify why those principles are actually correctly applied in this case. Because there will be cases in which they don't apply. If in the lecture I've assumed I'm talking about waves and I've assumed they're very long, then obviously that means they probably don't apply to very short waves. So that means you may have to repeat the analysis, but the analysis may be more complicated because of the omission of that assumption. So some courseworks are about showing that you have the skills to apply techniques which have been explained. Others are about demonstrating that you have the ability to think outside the box, to actually try to break down what the question is into uh, definite statements as to what is applicable, and then to argue uh, how one may derive what is essentially a completely new result. So not all courseworks are about um, doing as, as the uh, sir or madam in the lecture has said. They're about communication. Now the question then is, is how much communication? If I were to lecture, and very often I use mathematics, if I wrote nothing but a sequence of equations on the board, I would be told off as the worst lecturer possible because I never use a word of English. So why, when you do a coursework, is it quite correct for you to write merely equation after equation without any English punctuation, without any English conjunctions which indicate why one goes from one equation to another. So in fact, it's very poor communication. Then there's the question of how much detail. In some cases, I think most lecturers can probably cope with a jump of one or two lines in a mathematical analysis. So writing down every analysis, line by line, is not, is not always necessary. You want sufficient analysis to in indicate that the argument is well understood, that is well argued, and it's comprehensible by the reader.